Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R in the rainy streets of Shibuya. We're here today because I originally thought there's uh, maybe maybe something we could do in terms of Kichi Joji and go to do some pool or darts, but I figured at this point in the game, it probably doesn't make much sense to go do that. In fact, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the game actually stopped us from doing that, considering we're supposed to lay low. There's nobody to confidant with. Which is why I'm thinking about how to spend our time. So the only real thing we can do is maybe work on our one social stat that we have left. And that would be Guts. So we're gonna actually eat a Big Bang Burger because there's like nothing else for us to do. I uh, returned the Kindness DVD and rented out a Guts DVD in case we uh, need it. But we're just gonna, we're gonna take the challenge. There's really no reason for us to do this in terms of uh, getting the, what would it be? The... The prizes, but there's not really much else for us to do that'll boost our guts by like a lot. We've read all of our books. There's no guts movie playing. Really? This is about it. Yeah, we'll take on the challenge. Yeah. Might be able to gain some guts if we do the challenge. I think you probably do it as you are now. Oh, really? Well, actually, never mind then. Uh, we can totally do the challenge. Let's do it. <laughs> I didn't think we were. Oh, you know what it is? Is um. I never did the third challenge. I think there's four total challenges, if Thank I remember much. correctly. Yeah, there's one when you hit rank twos, one when you hit rank threes, one when you hit rank fours. That's the one I haven't done yet. And now we're about to hit all the rank fives. Boom, look at this monstrosity. The Cosmic Tower Burger. That seems massive. I'm honestly at a loss for words. This burger is the ultimate embodiment of the limitless nature of space. Volume, the flavor, the calories, every aspect of this burger is astronomical. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's actually finished it. Well, we're about to do it. Uh, this is about all we can do for guts, so hmm, might as well dig in. It looks good, but it's so big. <sighs> hey, we did it! I'm a fat ass! Congratulations. My sincerest congratulations on completing the final challenge. Since you managed to topple the Cosmic Tower Burger, I present to you the highest ranked certification available here, the Captain Badge. Yay, thank you. Uh, our world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. Cool, 10 of them, please nice. Come again. No more challenges await you, but please do the challenge again and show us how gallant you are. Oh, fair enough. I guess there isn't a uh, I knew you rank could do it. There's only three, I thought there were four. <laughs> Maybe I'm just mistaken. Oh my God. That apparently that was all I needed. Ha! Who knew eating a burger could make you the perfect human being? All right. We're lion-hearted now. Nice. Your pace, your strategy of using well-timed drinks, and just the spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. Yeah, hey, uh, thanks. We get three pips in every category. I guess this is just to give you a big old boost to everything for doing this challenge. We didn't need it, though. I, I will say... Uh, I've been I've been kind of like looking over my notes as well as like cross-referencing all the confidants and things we've been doing at this point We <laughs> supersize my stomach sweet. We got an achievement there, too um, We are on track. I think to accomplish pretty much everything in this game uh, I'm worried my deadlines coming up. Oh, right. We need to um We need to keep uh, talking to Chihaya. It was raining earlier. That's why I didn't think of it uh, All right, let's go to the red light district. We need to boost some some stuff with her as well as EY. Both of them are not um, ready to. Wait, did that just say death? I think she just said I'll death. Hold on. Um, There's something else you need. Damn it! Ugh, I'll have to talk to you again later. Give me a fortune reading. What shall we do? Give me that affinity reading. Do 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 do. Uh, sure. Oh yeah, is fine. We will have this fortune read. I'm pretty sure this will be enough we need. Then after that, we'll have to start boosting EY. Yep, we can deepen our friendship now. We can actually go finish her, uh, think? her rank right now. Hmm. There she is. EY is not available, but we could hang out with Coffee Dad. Coffee Dad, Coffee Dad. Mm hmm. I don't know. Which one do we hang out with first? You know what, actually? Let's just let's just finish off Oya's uh, confidant. We're here. This way we don't have to worry about it uh, after this point. So let's do it. Hey there, Oya. Oh, honey. 
How you doing? We got a uh, we got some business to talk, hmm. don't we? That was unexpected, huh? And then your principal commits suicide. Public blames the Phantom Thieves for both incidents, but something doesn't add up. Maybe rubbing off on me. But I guess a journalist's got to question everything. I have to tell you something. Oh, well, all right then. Uh, let's do it. Let's hang out. Huh? Oops, sorry, I have to take this. Just a minute. Yep, replace the previous article. No worries, right? Might as well go all out if we're gonna do this. I'm gonna scrap the others and rewrite them as well. Yep, tomorrow morning then. Sorry, that was the chief. Yeah, well, uh, were you two on good terms now? He's been great. He's ignoring the higher-ups' orders to help me. I'm doing a special expose on the Phantom Thieves, and the Chief's helping me. Oh, please tell me it's gonna be good news, though. It's about their origin and the root of the problem they're trying to solve. I think it really captures the spirit of journalism. Oh, all right then, fine. You, what about my info, though? As if. Your observations and analysis are the heart of the story. Oh, cool, well, at least I'm still contributing. The higher-ups were against it, but this expose has been very popular with our readers. Since we've sold so many copies, there's nothing they can do about it. Or us. So, we're planning to throw in additional articles while we have the chance. Hey, right, good. I'm, uh, glad to hear that. I will read the next issue. And I don't buy physical print. Thanks. I'm still counting on your contributions to help us sell issues, you know. Alright, let's throw a victory celebration! Lalachan, I hope you have some champagne for us. I told you last time, we don't have any of that here. That's what I figured, so I reserved a bottle at the wine shop. Oh, hey, good thinking. <laughs> okay, I'll go get it for you. <laughs> what was with that sound? Impressive. Looks like Lalachan took the hint. Oh? I wanted to speak with you. In private. Oh! Uh, I'm, I'm happy to talk. What's up? I'll loosen up a bit, will ya? I've been quietly making preparations to write a story about Shido's confidant, too. I'm going to uncover the truth. I swear to Kayo. Thanks. Again. Whenever I felt like giving up, you encouraged me to keep going. It's all thanks to you that I was able to get this far, Mr. Phantom Thief. Ah, what? Wait, wait a minute. The Chief's change of heart happened exactly the same way as those other cases. And the timing was absolutely perfect. You're the only one who could have orchestrated all that. <laughs> you, you think so? <laughs> Damn it. Lala's the real Phantom Thief. Lala Chan's more of a Phantom Menace. Oh crap, she's gonna be so pissed. Yeah, don't don't say that in front of her then. I'm convinced from all the recent coverage that the Phantom Thieves truly are valiant. Helping the weak, punishing the bad. They actually do all those things. Well, wait, even with all the Okamura stuff? In a sense, you and I have the same objective. We both want to expose the ills of society. So, I won't tell anyone about your true identity. Let's form a united front to fight evil. If it weren't for you, I never would have been able to return to my journalist self. My high schooler source who manipulated information ended up manipulating my heart too. I'm gonna return the favor one of these days, all right? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Until then, we'll race to see who can expose evil first. Uh, I mean, sure. Sounds good to me. Hey, at least we helped her out a lot, huh? I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the devil, granting thee infinite power. Well, baby, what do we get for our trouble? The legendary scoop makes it easier to ambush the enemy regardless of security level. Not right. bad. And uh, right. we get a Beelzebub, my good old fly friend. We can fuse you now. Anyway, where the hell is Lala-chan? Shall we get started then? Considering we're already in a celebratory mood. I wonder if you'll make it back home tonight. I'm gonna have you stick around till the very end. Oh no, did, 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 you know I have midterms I in a couple days? Not 
accept your refusal. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> I'm screwed. Oh, God. Oh, no. More, more supports dropping. That's another 5% out the window. So were they just deceiving us? I guess Akechi was right after all. Oh, uh, no. Come on, people. We're not that bad. Really? We're not. This sucks. I wonder when Okamura-san will start coming back to school. Out of the funeral soon. It must be tough organizing the funeral for a bigwig CEO. Wait, don't you mean for her father? Okamura-san is usually pretty quiet. Do you think she's okay? Hard to believe the dad of such a nice girl could be so evil. <laughs> I didn't expect this from the Phantom Thieves. It was a full-blown public execution. Great. They are not mincing words, are they? These are looking rough online. They just called us a bunch of murderers. All the celebrities who supported us are being criticized now, too. It's all gone up in flames. People are posting about this stuff everywhere. I highly doubt that anyone who supported us did so honestly. There must have been many who simply went with the winning side. I get mixed feelings about this when you put it that way. It does make me rethink a lot of things. That aside, we need to deal with our situation first. The state of affairs could continue to worsen. We can't just sit back and watch this happen. Still, we can't make a move when we don't have any leads. What are we supposed to do then? Right around when your exams end will be the perfect timing. Uh, for what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, just wait and see what happens. Uh, Futaba, what are you planning? There's a way I can focus on exams like this. Can you ever? <laughs> it's a hey, fair question. Are you oh, listening? shit! Oh, but I have max proficiency. You're not gonna hit me. I feel the murderous intent. Nope! Screw you! That's what I think about you and your chalk. He touched Ushimaru's throw, is he a ninja? I might as well be. I'm a literal perfect human being right now. Max stats and everything. Not like I need this charm, but uh, I will take it. Boom. <laughs> oh God, I can't, I don't think I've ever had max stats this early in, in, in the original run through. I'm pretty sure that is not the case. I do have time. Ah, Shinya, you are available, my lad. Good. Uh, we will be hanging out with you then. Yusuke's got his exams right around the corner as well. Oh, mm, mm, want to hang out too. Hmm. Hmm. And Futaba too? Hmm. I don't know what to prioritize now. Because here's the thing. I think... We're only going to be able to hang out with Shinya maybe one more time? And then we'll have to do his mementos request. And we're not going to be able to do that for quite a while uh, at this point. Because I want to make sure I have a wise too at the same time. Just so, you know, it's more efficient. So maybe we hang out with one of our teammates instead. Futaba's a little bit low. And Hakuto isn't too far away from being finished. So you know what, maybe we can... You know what, let's hang out with Makoto instead. Sorry, Shinya, you're going to get put on the... Uh... <laughs> The back burner for a very slight bit of time. At the very least, I do want to make sure that we uh, either finish Makoto or get both Makoto and Futaba up a lot higher before we before we hit a certain point. And I don't know if we're gonna have time. So anyway, let's let's just hang out. We have Sarasvati. Should be good. Thank you. We will step inside the student council room. Please come. Step inside my office. Eiko's boyfriend, Tsukasa, has been sending me a lot of texts recently. His days and nights are reversed due to his work, so he often sends me a good morning late at night. Uh, <laughs> does she, uh, does your friend know about this? Seems a little weird. I'm not sure. I'd definitely tell Eiko if he'd ask me on a date. But for now, things are generally pretty normal. Mostly messages like, how's your BF? And hope you had a great day today. Do you think their relationship could actually be serious? Was I just biased to think that all he wants from Eiko is her money? Well, I mean... You watch too many soap operas. <laughs> yes. I mean, it does sound like a TV show. A lying host that tricks women into debt and forces them to sell their bodies. But those kinds of things exist in reality as well. Immoral hosts, human trafficking rings. 
my father even mentioned to me about gangs of men that look specifically for depressed women in Shinjuku. It seems... They take advantage of the loneliness those girls feel to force them into horribly abusive situations. Then, after ensuring the girls are buried in crippling debt, they make them sell their bodies to pay it off. Jesus! That is a fucking scheme! There are other ways they force girls into it as well. Blackmail, illegal immigration. There are countless victims of schemes like that. Countless gangs as well. My father was going after a particularly notorious one when... In the course of his investigation, he was hit by an errant truck. The impact killed him instantly. Oh! Shit! At first it was thought to be an accident, but at the funeral I overheard my father's supervisor speaking with my sister. He was saying my father had likely been assassinated. They suspected that the gang he was investigating hired the driver. Wow! Who was their leader? I don't know. The driver died on impact as well, but apparently they found drugs in his bloodstream. Either way, that gang has been pushed back into the shadows thanks to the Shinjuku cleanup operation. I'm not sure any of that would have happened if not for the incident with my father. He was a noble man. He truly was, wasn't he? I wish I could be a little more like him myself. Instead, I've just been hesitant. It's actually why it's actually why my sister became a prosecutor to begin with. She couldn't stand by and watch as evil prevailed over justice. That passion undoubtedly came from our father. Our mother passed away many years back, so when father was killed, we had to survive on our own. The responsibility, the pressure of that all fell on my sister. Because of that, she can't help but talk down on our father at times. She says death is no different than surrender. But... but I still look up to him. I was often lonely because of how much time he spent at work, but seeing him tirelessly pursue one case after the next was nothing short of incredible. That was how my father chose to live his life, trying to bring justice and order to the world around him. A, it's admirable. I agree. He's a good cop. Yes. We need more good cops. Come to think of it, there was something he used to say to me all the time. The most important part of your life is how you choose to live it. <sighs> how have I chosen to live? And more importantly, how do I want to live? Well, do you have an answer? Yes. Just one. That is, I've never put any thought into the matter before. To be honest, I've been determined to follow the path my sister laid for me. After my father's death, I wanted to lighten the burden on her as much as I possibly could. Oh, we were supposed to be talking about Eiko here. Sorry for going so off topic. Actually... You know, I've never actually talked to anyone about my father. It's such a painful memory to look back on. But I feel comfortable discussing it with you. And beyond that, I think I understand my life a little better now. Thank you very much. Hey, there you go. I can sense a deep bond of trust. That works for me. Shadow factorization allows you to see null, repel, and drain when highlighting a target in battle. All right. Thank God! Oh, actually, I kind of wish I had that before. I would have. That would have made sure I didn't make careless mistakes. Ring a ding, ding. Hmm? Council President Edition. Was Aiko gloating again? Maybe I'll like skip college and just get married to Tsukasa instead. I guess she's choosing how she wants to live too. As long as she's sure she'll be happy. Oh, another message. Huh? You serious about gamer kun? Want to have a double wedding? Uh. <laughs> Refuse her, please. I don't need my goddess hearing about this one. Right, we need to make sure she doesn't go and reserve a wedding hall for us. Couldn't even begin to think about marriage at this point in my life. By the way, can you keep pretending to be my boyfriend for a bit longer? That's the best method I have of keeping tabs on Eiko and Tsukasa. At any rate, thanks for listening to me today. I'll let you know if anything urgent comes up. All right, sure. I'll uh. All right then. I'll leave it to you. Dear Lord. Well, what are you gonna do, right? Young people make stupid mistakes. Hey, do you have time right now? Sorry for venting so much before. 
I just wanted to talk about Aiko, but I got a little off topic. Thanks for still pretending to be my boyfriend, too. I don't trust Aiko's boyfriend yet, so can we keep this up until I can make a call one way or the other? All right, sure. It's the, uh, it's the role I always hoped for. What? Gosh, stop teasing me. <laughs> I'm counting on you, okay? Let's see how convincing a boyfriend you can be. Yeah, later. Honey bunches of oats. Oh, God, I can't believe those words just came from my mouth. Mm. Bleh. Oh, no. Coffee Dad, not you, too. Oh, don't you start talking about this. Uh, you want to study? Well, sorry, I'm a genius. You're on your own. I depend on coming to the church today. You're still doing stuff. Right. I should, uh, hang out with you if I can. Why? Right! You're also somebody I need to worry about and catch you, too. But he still isn't available. Okay. First things first. We go talk to Chihaya. We gonna make sure that we have enough points with the Y to rank up. It should probably only take one thing. Um, you sure you're gonna be okay? I can sense it just by looking at your face. The death aura is emitting a strange light. Oh, lovely! That's what you said. Oh, oh, oh man. I don't I don't need this in my life. I'll tell you that much. All right, give me this. Where's your Y? There's your Y. 5,000 yen? That is chump change to me. I am insulted. You think this would be even a problem for me to go. pay you. All right, so how's it looking, Doc? Good. So, EY is ready. What do you think? That has been taken care of. I'm wondering, though, if, uh... We just go hang out with Hifumi instead? Darn! I don't know. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's go hang out with Hifumi. Let's try to finish her off first. If we can. Oh. Gamer Kun. The thing is, something unexpected happened. Can we talk? Our bond will grow stronger soon. Uh, oh, we don't have a persona. <laughs> uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you <laughs> At very this much. point, with Chihaya, this, this doesn't matter anymore. Let's just hang out. I'm not even going to worry about it. Actually. Well, my mother finally talked to me. She told me that most of my matches thus far had been fixed in my favor. She also admitted that she was the one who sold that story to the weekly magazine. I had no idea. I feel so ashamed. However, thinking back, I do recall some of my opponents making poor moves at odd times. I've always wanted people to recognize my shogi skills, but I suppose I never had any. I became so conceited as a result of all those fake victories. <sighs> Why did my mother confess all of a sudden? It's as if she had a change of heart. Oh. A change of heart? The Phantom Thieves? That can't be. Perhaps they eavesdropped on our conversation. Uh. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just glad her heart changed. Let's uh, avoid this topic. Yes. It was painful to hear the truth, but I'm glad that my mother had a change of heart. Um. I've decided I'm not going to lose. Uh, lose what? Oh, sorry. I was referring to the exhibition match. I'm going through with it as planned. However, before that, I'm going to confess everything. Oh. I know I'll receive a lot of criticism, but I must ensure the truth is known. Mm -hmm. This next match will showcase my true talents. I don't know how it's going to go, but I hope you watch. As your teacher, I promise to put up a good fight so I don't embarrass myself. Well, I will uh, hold you to that, I suppose. Rank 8! Alright. Fantastic. Two more to go. I would be lying if I told you I'm not scared. My kingdom is a house of cards. I'm not sure if it can withstand a true battle. However, I intend to fight with dignity to the very end, as a queen should. There's a new move I'd like to test out for the exhibition. I look forward Will to you it. you stay for another game? Sure. I see no problem with this. I'll start. If you can get past the valiant knights who guard my Togo kingdom. Uh. <laughs> what? I, oh, God. One of these days, you're going to have to you're gonna have to drop this act when you're Until with me. Until next time. Yeah, we'll catch you later. Oh, never mind. Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding. Hello! I may have a little bit of your time. Sure. Just a little curious about your thoughts regarding my decision to reveal my fixed matches, that is. Well, you know, honestly, uh, I do support it. I think you're doing the right thing getting in front of this. Talks help me realize I should play with the utmost sincerity. 
I must prepare for my exhibition match. All right, we'll catch you later. <laughs> Good luck. I think you're going to need it. But at the very least, you're going to get the chance to really showcase your talents. Oh, no. More people have lost faith in us. Even people in Hockey Bart are talking about us. Oh, man. This is bad. Oh, hey, Haru. Now that the funeral's over, it feels like a small burden has been lifted from my shoulders. Well, are you okay? I am. I actually feel bad having everyone worry about me. How about you? Are you doing okay? Uh, I'm managing. You sure are strong. I'll come back, don't worry. I think I'll be able to rejoin everyone around when exams end. Um, I'll see you. Haru, she's the one who should be in pain right now. Yet she's still trying to cheer us up. She's just a good girl, okay? She's just a nice girl! Well then. Uh, yes, exams start. We don't worry about that. I am ready. What am I doing today? Winnie LeBlanc, keep me posted. Uh, okay, so we can hang out with Futaba at the very least, if nobody else is available. Futaba, there's Yusuke. There's Makoto, once again available. I think we go hang out with her instead. Ooh, but before we do that, we need to go talk to Chihaya and uh, get another fortune rating. We're gonna need to get Hifumi's points up because I know we did not um... get enough. Yep, give me a fortune rating. I actually came to you in the daytime this time. Do? Infinity, uh, where is she? Where is she? There she is. Again, lady, I got plenty of money. As long as you ain't selling me your holy stones, I don't mind giving you cash for your services. Oh, it was not enough. All right, fair enough. But it's a uh, step in the right direction. Okay, so on that note, let's go hang out with the uh, Makoto. Let's see if we can finish her link off. Uh, wait, actually, let me think about that. Are we gonna unlock something interesting for? Either of them? Or channel factorization. You get indoor next. Okay. What about you, Futaba? No, you're still two things away. But moral uh, active support is gonna be really cool to pick up. It's the chance to actually give us SP restoration. But it's still two hangouts away. I think we just finished uh, Makoto off. We could said she had a favor to ask, but I've been pushing it off. I think you could maybe come with me to see her? Sure, we can do that. You sure you know you'll be there? Let's go. Is something the matter? So what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. What? <laughs> Why? It's nothing real major, but I need it like right now. I'll pay you back though, honest, please. Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work. So the club's making him pay for it, but he needs help. How He's lying to you, Eiko. He don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Tsukasa's not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess. I'm the only one he says that to, you know? He says it's because I'm special. So he calls you a special princess. What do you think, musical? Uh, <laughs> I think he says that to all his girls. It's not just yes. you. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. What the hell? What the hell's going on? Sorry, I, I'm i hearing like bangs going on. What the hell? This is like one in the morning. It's like somebody getting shot outside my house. That is really weird. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to hear that. What the fuck? Okay, it stopped. Nope, never mind. It's still going. What the? It's either that or fire. Oh no, it's fireworks. That's what it is. <laughs> Christ. Oh jeez. Sorry. Um, TMG is a little a little nervous being out in his office at one in the morning recording videos. By himself. Ugh, jeez. He told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Yeah, I'm gonna go crying out of this fucking video in a second. Please, Makoto, you're the only person I can trust. 
All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take the time to help me. And who knows what my parents would say if I tried to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, here you got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. Just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna go to college. <laughs> hey, Ko! You can't just do what he says! He's trying to deceive you! A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just gonna go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's gonna be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from him as you can. So you're not gonna help me. <laughs> yeah, I can't say anything about that, because uh, both of them are right. Ugh, just forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. Nico, wait! I don't want to have to tell you this, but Tsukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone, and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Eiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. Tsukasa is just so nice that he'd worry about his, my friends for me. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell? Oh, jeez. It's mostly him texting me. Ugh, you have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend. You seriously still want more? Jesus, this girl is blinded. Blinded by the light. God, you need to, you need to, you need to wake up, Eiko. <sighs> Tsukasa's all she has? You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Actually... Eiko's family's quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' effect, uh, attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Tsukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. <sighs> but asking a high school for money and isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that you're gonna help, right? I, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. You don't need to worry about that. I got your back. Eiko's blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. <sighs> I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider with other alternative viewpoints of the world. That's not the right way to live. I want to show you her that, just like you did for me. Hey, that's good though. I sense that uh, deep trust and bond. She can right. endure a otherwise lethal blow now. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I'd never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. What is the right way to live? Well, I'll let you sort of, you know, ruminate on this for the time being, but uh, I'll catch you later. Things are just not going to get easier, though. Ah, you're back. Ah, yes, I am indeed. Ring, ding, ding. This isn't much of an update, but I think I'm going to go back to school starting tomorrow. Sorry for worrying you all, all of you until now. Are you really okay, though? You're not to push yourself too hard in this time of grief. No, I actually need to push myself. My mind always wanders if I have nothing to do. Yeah, I totally get you. Besides, there's nothing I can do while I'm at home. Well, uh, I don't know how to put it, but try not to think about that stuff too much. We're on your side, Haru. Yeah, you can come to us for anything. Um, to be completely honest, when I ended up alone, I did doubt you all a tiny bit. But it's so horrible for me to doubt you. I mean, I'm the one who asked you all to do this. Your father just passed away, Haru. It's natural to feel a flood of emotion at such events. Yeah, it's really hard when you lose someone like that. You've helped me so much. Right back at you. Thank you. Those words are truly reassuring. Well, then I'll see you all of you at school. Haru. I'm not surprised she seems down. You should keep her in your thoughts. Very soon, so, we'll, we'll help looks, her. Despite how she looks, Haru has quite the backbone. I'm sure she'll be okay. Well, that's the that's the hope at least. Exams, you free tonight? Ah, Iwai, you wish to hang out, huh? And uh, Ryuji, some last-minute exam work, huh? I I'm gonna tell you this right now, buddy. It ain't gonna cut it. That ain't gonna cut it by itself. All right then. Well, 
on that note, let's uh, let's hang out with Coffee Dad. Just want to get ready to close. I still have to finish preparing for tomorrow. Sure, I can do that. Let's uh, let's help you out. <laughs> Thanks, Zach, for you. Utaba said she's coming too. Yo. Hey, Futaba. I was gonna add something to the menu. What would you want it to be? Hmm, maybe curry spaghetti and curry udon. Oh, and curry croquettes and curry pizza. You really like curry that much? <laughs> I guess it'd be pretty easy given the current menu. I'll give it some thought. How about you? Anything you'd want to add to the menu? Uh, something with curry. <laughs> you don't do, huh? Of course he is. That stuff's super addicting, man. Curry is really good. It, it really is. I love ordering this Thai curry from my... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why are you here? <sighs> Leave now or else I'll be forced to contact the police. I'm not giving you a penny. What was that? Quit fucking with me. Stop it. Sojiro didn't do anything wrong. Shut your mouth, Brad. It's your fault I'm in this mess. Look, Futaba's my daughter. Maybe her uncle, but you have no connection to her anymore. We can take it to court if you really want. Don't underestimate how hard I'm willing to fight. What? Not only do you have massive debt, but I heard you failed in your most recent business venture. How do you think the court wouldn't respond if they knew how wasteful you were with your money? God damn it. This is all your fault, you bitch. You cursed little... Oh, you're talking to me now. Oh, hey. Uh, hmm. This is all, I'll sue. Uh, where have I heard this line before? <laughs> where the hell have I heard this before? It's assault, I'll sue. Q Shido in the background. He's just like attack me, he's dangerous. Gabby's finished, you hear me? I won't let you get away with this. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Damn, what a pain in the ass. Did you have enough problems already? Well, I didn't... I was just protecting Futaba. He said you did anything wrong. To be honest, it should have been me trying to stop him. Are you okay, Futaba? Mm-hmm. But Uncle said he's gonna sue. Don't worry. No matter what ends up happening to me at the store, I won't let them lay a finger on you two. I'm your guardian, after all. So I have a duty to protect the both of you. Don't go doing anything like that again, you hear? I appreciate the spirit you showed, though. Well, I mean, I guess it's good that our bond is growing deeper. It's uh, right. not really a good situation to be in, though. Maybe anyway, I'm done for the day. Take care of closing up for me. Let's Time go for the Musical. I'll message you later. Oh? Oop, is that that so-called message? Big news. I looked at my uncle's name in Mementos, and I got a hit. Would you be angry if I asked for your help? No, I would not be. Really thinks a bunch. My uncle's name is Yoji Ishiki. Let's go to Mementos and change his heart. But, uh, I have a favor to ask. I don't really want to tell everybody about the time I spent living with him. Maybe someday, sure, but today's not that day. So I was thinking, can we maybe go just the two of us? I really need your help here, musical, please. <sighs> All right, just the two of us, I guess. We got a message, or well, we got a we got a request, I should say. Putting uh. on nighters is the worst. I really should have started studying sooner. It's the school festival soon. It's the thing I'm looking forward to most right now. Yeah, but are they still gonna hold it? Like it canceled. Don't say that you're bumming me out before the exams. <laughs> yeah, these two just want their own amusement. Granted, I'd be pretty bummed if my school canceled the festival too. All right, well, bring it on. It's time for some exams. The Phantom Thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? I thought they were going to change that CEO's heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa too? Oh, God damn it. Hey, th this is... Th the rumors are getting worse. It's like a game of telephone. I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Oh, man. 
Does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Well, shall All right we then, let's do it. It's time for some tests. Counting both black and white surfaces, how many surfaces are there in total on a soccer ball? Uh, both the surfaces? Is it a 22? Or not 22, 32. It would be 32. Something that ends in two. Ooh, yeah, something, right? Okay, good. Let's see an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide an explanation for why the soccer ball is only comprised of the colors of black and white. Uh, it has to do with the fact that they're hexagons, right? The number of colors used to be different. Do you remember? Uh, it used to be one color, right? Yeah, oh, that's right. And they, um... Yeah, it used to be only one color, but it wouldn't grab your eye, and they changed it for television. They were broadcasted in black and white picture. Exactly. Same color ball would be hard to spot in black and white. They changed the color of the ball to make it easily identifiable on TV. Yep. Sweet. We <laughs> did we did a good thing there, guys. Oh my god, everything is still just plummeting. You're still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi-kun has been right all along. He's so admirable sticking to his guns even though so many people were against him. God That's damn it. enough. If you don't quiet down, I'll have to ask you to leave. Just give me the test, god damn it. I don't want to hear these people anymore. Now everyone. Uh, who conducted executions? Oh, I know that. <laughs> Charles Henri Sasson. Um Ooh, we can do this. A good two-star. At least in Salem. What is the reason that most people cannot become a comrade fisherman of Nagarusawa? Isn't it because it's hereditary? Yeah, hereditary. Because it's um, uh, the, the the what is it? The the imperial family owns the the thing Ooh, or the rights? I forget what it is exactly. It's hereditary. I remember the jokes about the diet. Oh God, it's dropping even more. No. The Phantom Thieves have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a Phantom Thief the other day. For real? You gotta report that. Oh crap, you think so? I snapped a pic, so I should probably put it online just in case. I hope the cops catch him. Oh god, this is how you dox people, kids. Don't dox people, kids. It's, it's a bad look. Okay, class, let's get started. third day of exams. Started. All right, what do we got? What is the meaning of robota? Etymological root of robot. It's a uh, slave lever. That's right. Ooh, we can do this. Which the following describes the density of stars in outer space. What was it? Uh, three melons in the Atlantic? No, three bees in all of Europe. Three bees in all of Europe, I'm pretty sure. It goes again. Hmm. These are the last day of exams, huh? Well, it shouldn't be a problem for you. This has been so easy, I might start yawning. <laughs> you did perfectly. Can't wait to see your score. Sweet! Oh, I can't wait to see my top tier grades either. The police are here again? Uh oh. Yeah, seems like it's for real this time. Apparently, one of our students is a phantom thief. Seriously? I read the same thing online. Apparently public security is already on the move. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. This can't be good. It's me. There's something I want to talk to everyone about. I'll be at the hideout. I mean, our place. Yeah. Well, okay. Oh, Doc! What's up? It's open. Um... Oh, Haru! 
Oh, yeah, that would make sense. She's the only one who hasn't really talked to him yet. Welcome. Ah, uh, you're the third year Okamura-san, correct? So good to see you. Please, have a seat. Uh, Are you okay? Huh? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. I did come here because I wanted to, but I'm not exactly adept at saying what's on my mind. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm not all that great at chatting with people either. Oh? Me? <laughs> oh, what, me? I shouldn't have said that. How about some snacks? No need to be modest here. You have my Thank thanks. you. I'm all right, though. Mm. Mm. Um, um. I must be pretty weird, right? I came here for counseling, but I can't seem to say anything. Well, not weird in the least. Just take your time. We'll go at whatever pace you need. And if you still don't feel comfortable by the end of our time, well, just have some tea and head on home for the day. I do enjoy tea time. Perhaps I'll feel more relaxed if I think of all this in that way. Quite. Absolutely. Nobody's going to de-stress if they have if they come in here all worked up like I have to talk right now. <laughs> He's not wrong. Thinking of this as just sneaking away to relax with some tea would probably help you feel more open. Relaxing with some tea. I do that quite often, but on my own. Do you find that more relaxing? Yes. The people closest to me in my life, they don't really feel like people I could sit and enjoy some tea with. Even my family was always focused solely on work. I see. So, was mealtime essentially the same setup as tea time? Yes. Yes. Meals where we actually ate together were almost always uptight dinners at work-related events. I see. I've never been to an upscale social event, but... Or so I'm not sure if I should ask this, but... Well... Didn't you ever feel lonely? I... Lonely? Yes, I think so. If I were given the chance, I would have only wanted to spend more time with my family. Why don't we call it a day now? Feel free to stop by again anytime you like. Um... Oh, yes, I do apologize. Seems I extended this tea time much longer than I had intended. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all. If anything, I'm happy to hear it. I'll make sure to pick up snacks that pair well with tea. Well, good. I'm glad that uh, Haru's getting some counseling. If anybody needs it right now, it's definitely her. I received word from Futaba chan about our upcoming meeting. There's still some time until we meet, though, so I'm going to go take care of my flowers first. See you later. I suppose plants do need watering after all. Oh, I know. You should go help Haru. I'll let the others know. Oh, sure. I can, uh, I can totally do that. How troubling. Hey, Haru. Uh, you want some help? Oh, have you come up here to assist me? You, um, heard that, didn't you? I'm not worried about the garden, in case you were wondering. It's just, so much has happened to me lately. Well, yeah. You can tell me. Perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. So basically, you're the new president in, uh, name. Which means in name. suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you going to be okay? I am. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. It's just, I know I'm the president's daughter. But I never thought I'd actually end up involved in company business. Because of that, lately I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets? Stocks? It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. Yeah, that must be rough. They try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. It feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... 
I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Oh, trust me, it's it's easier than you think. Uh, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age, closer to my own viewpoint. Hmm. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? Well, sure, I got no problem with that. In return, I'll... Hmm, what can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? Uh, sure. You bet to feed me some veggies. I grew these right here in these very planters and harvested them myself not too long ago. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... Oh, sure. I mean, <laughs> I want to try them. It's fine. I like veggies. <laughs> you like vegetables? That's good to know. But to tell the truth, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? Oh, I, I mean, sure. You, but really, Sojiro, of all people? Really? I'm sure Sakura-san will give me an honest opinion. I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. All right, sure. Well then, shall we head over to the hideout? I'll uh, I'll I'll hold you to it. Hmm, interesting. Well, looks like we're gonna get some veggies from Haru. Congrats on surviving midterms. All right, well, we have survived midterms and we're about to have a meeting with everybody. What we'll be discussed in this meeting, we'll have to wait for next time because we're all out of time. <laughs> Thanks all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know uh, what you're looking forward to most and uh, check me out on Patreon, a link to which is in the doobly-doo down below. A dollar a month goes a very long way to keeping this channel up and running. So please, if you have the ability to, think about pledging your support on the Patreon. I don't know why I paused so dramatically there. Uh, seriously though, it does help. I can make more content for you guys that way. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's good Civ and good vibes all around. This is Musical Gamer signing off. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.